Part 1. The Beginning of Dinosaurs Hi kids, have you ever wondered where dinosaurs came from? Today, we're traveling way, way back in time to discover the very beginning of dinosaurs about 230 million years ago, in a time called the Triassic Period. This was the start of the age of dinosaurs, a time when some of the most amazing creatures the world has ever seen began their journey, back then, the Earth didn't look like it does now, there were no separate continents like we have today. Instead, all the land on Earth was joined together in one massive supercontinent called Pangaea, imagine one huge piece of land surrounded by a giant ocean. There were no flowers, no grass, and no fruit trees just ferns, giant conifers, and strange, spiky plants. The weather was also very different, some parts of Pangaea were dry and desert-like, while other areas were wet and swampy, this unique environment set the stage for a new group of creatures to appear, the dinosaurs. The first dinosaurs were small and light on their feet, take Coelophysis for example, it was about the size of a dog and had long legs to help it run fast, it hunted small animals and insects, snapping them up with its sharp teeth. Another early dinosaur was Platyosaurus, a plant eater with a long neck to reach tall plants and trees, but dinosaurs didn't appear alone, they shared the land with other reptiles, like the massive, crocodile-like phytosaurs and the flying reptiles called pterosaurs. What made dinosaurs special though, was their ability to adapt, they had strong legs for running, and their skeletons were lightweight but strong, which helped them survive in a constantly changing world. Over time, dinosaurs became more diverse, some evolved into fast predators like the Herosaurus, while others became large plant eaters like the gentle Lesimsaurus, but here's something really cool scientists now believe that some dinosaurs had feathers. These feathers weren't for flying yet, they were used to keep warm, especially for smaller dinosaurs living in cooler climates, as millions of years passed, the Triassic period came to an end, and dinosaurs spread across the world. They were ready to become the rulers of the Earth, stay tuned for part 2, where we'll explore the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods, the time when dinosaurs grew into giants and ruled every corner of the planet. Goodbye kids!